Hello guys and welcome back to Star 101. I am having such a great time on the show today with my Yumi and Adeolu. It's time for our last word on couture, a term loosely used by a lot of African designers. You guys know a lot of designers out there call their brands or their lines couture, right? So there's Von Couture, there's Trisho Couture, there's Nuva Couture, and there are nameless other brands that have this title attached to their names. Do you think that made to wear and made to measure brands can have couture in their names or do you think that there are certain standards that need to be met before a brand can call itself a couture line? So Maya, you're looking at me funny, so I want you to take the floor. Um, I think um, there are two ways to look at it. So what I understand is that, you know, there's this group, there's this cabal. Yeah. <laughs> that you know looks and appoints people based on their craftsmanship. Okay, you have lived up to the you know the this and that. I ever understand that they're tests. Yeah, of course. And they're, they're passed to be you know real couture designers. You know the Elisabs of this world and the um, Giovanni Giovanni Battista Valli. Ja, yeah. Yeah. Ja. All them those kind of guys that we beef. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. So they get into that. So that's those are the real you know. The couture guys in the couture houses, as the case may be. Of course. But the word couture has been, I'll use the word diffused and now made more common. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I can wake up tomorrow morning and put couture in front of my name. My for couture. Yeah. Oh. And even though I do not offer that kind of couture yeah. service. Now, so I can sit down here and decide that what I'm doing is what they're doing mm -hmm. and I'm doing couture. And I'm calling myself Couture. That's one thing. On the other hand, it's like a marketing strategy these days. If I call myself yeah. something Couture, you're thinking, oh, okay, this guy has games. So well, he's doing something. Well. Yeah, I'm mimicking the kind of service that they do. Because, you know, if you look at it on the flip side, what we call Couture made for you in Nigeria mm -hmm. is the cheaper way. Overseas is a more expensive one. If you go and meet a random tailor overseas to make clothes for you, we charge you plenty money. That's true. Nigeria ones are like tailors on the streets and everything. But that person is making that thing specific for you. But it's not couture, it's made for you. Yeah. you know, it's tailor-made. It's tailor-made yeah, for it's you at the, at the end of the day. So I think people use it as a marketing strategy. And it's not the only word that has been bastardized in that form. You know, like people say savvy role or bespoke. You know, you may have never been to the world before, but you're doing bespoke and or your several, you know, influence and your craftsmanship is the same 80 hours to make a suit and it's not. So it's not only couture that has suffered, yeah. but I think generally the word is now used as a marketing term rather than the real thing that it actually stands for. So I think whichever way, if you're making couture underwear, you know, good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> as you say. But left to me, I don't think it's that serious, but if you're taking your brand really serious, you're thinking of international market, you're thinking of become a proper brand that would live beyond you and stuff like that, yeah. you know, you should mean what you're saying. So if you say couture, you should actually be couture. That's and if you are not heard. couture, um, that, yeah. that, that, I mean, that's what I think. Okay. Um, I mean, I personally, I don't see a problem with it. Yeah. I feel like it's it's a word and it's a, it's a name of your brand. If you're not saying that I'm actually giving you something that's made couture, then okay. I mean, it's just the name of the brand. It sounds fancy. We enjoy it. As long as I'm giving you a lesson, so it's a level of quality. Enjoy. It's not like, like, yeah, as in I enjoy the name. I come here. It sounds beautiful to me. Now I want to go and enter the store. As long as when I get in there, it gives me a level of quality that makes me feel like, this isn't, you know, it's also made in the back of someone's car. Yeah, at the end of the day, the customers are coming in there, you don't know the meaning of couture. Do they, do they expect exactly. anything? You just That's expect. I think, I think over time, it's now nice. become a name that's synonymous with fashion, so it's yeah. easy to just yeah. slam it on yeah. whatever you do. I, yeah. I honestly think that between the people that actually call themselves couturiers and their, I guess, the, the, or rather the people patronizing them actually don't know the meaning of that word. It's just, like my said, you know, it's used very loosely, so yeah. people just go, ooh. It's like being a fashion designer, too. I know that. Everybody says they're a fashion it's, designer. You and know, not a fashion designer. Glorified tailors or, you know, just coming up and saying, I have a tailor in the other room sewing up something, I've taken out a magazine, but here, I'm a couturier, so, you know, I'll bill you for that. And that's also another problem. That is it's a that problem. they do try to bill you mm. for what? it is in worth. Okay, so the second question I have for you guys is, obviously, do you think that this um, loose use of the term couture 
makes us Africans so, look like we kind of don't know what we're doing, we don't understand fashion. Only to pompous people, I think. What do you mean, pompous people? Honest. On a global <laughs> stage. I mean, even stage. on a global stage. Well, it's a global it, stage. Look, out that's there. what I'm saying. But even in that stage, I mean, the word literally has now been used so much by the same pompous people on the other side <laughs> yeah. that we've now we've now Literally. we've now widened the meaning of the word to in, involve its sarcastic use as well. So like if you're using couture, as long as you know what it means and you can show that you know what it means, why 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 are we talking? My own thing word? is that those designers that use it and just slap it on their names don't make it to the global stage. So they're never talk, they never talk about on the global stage. It's I think not. we're getting worried about what doesn't even exist. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you're a designer of rare and you've gotten to the point, you said you're probably going to change your name <laughs> if you goofed. I mean, my name used to be Maya Tafel Inspired, and I dropped the Inspired, now it's Maya Tafel. It took mm -hmm. a conversation in Milan for me to realize that you've actually outgrown what you were calling Inspired. Yeah. Because the guy said, what's your name? And I said, Maya Tafel Inspired. So what does it stand for? I said, oh, it's my name. So, so your name is Mr. Inspired. And I said, no, my name is Mr. Tafel. So well, it's Inspired. I'm like, okay, thank you very much. That's the conversation done. I went back and I dropped the Inspired. Yeah. Done. You know, but when I started, it made a lot of sense. But I yeah. actually moved on. So I think that if you're going to get to the global stage where you play, they eventually you won't be stupid enough to have couture yeah. in front of your name. That's okay. what that's what I believe. Even if it's just for fancy or for fake reality, yeah. the case maybe. I think I can only speak from where I'm from. So I'll say Nigeria. You know, I think that you know, um, from Mr. My, it's my head. Um, mm -hmm. They were the ones that kind of use it loosely. You know, I don't think that people that are really serious. No, I don't think it's a Nigerian. I don't think that's true. Let her finish. I can her only her. speak from where I'm finish. from. I think I don't think that. Well, I lived in New York, and I don't. I didn't see places or designers that said house of, you know, this couture stuff. I did not see that. I saw, you know, designers. I heard designer names and stuff, but I didn't hear the word or boutiques just used or couture used so loosely the way in my two and a half years being here where everyone is uh, luxury luxury or couturier or avant-garde or bespoke or whatever it is you want to call yourself the i just think that i think that if yes if we do want to be taken seriously we have to you know that's why we say education is key yeah if you know the right information you won't use it loosely okay, this, yeah. even if is to sell stuff. I'm a stylist. I'm a stylist. I would not say because I want to make myself feel better or elevate myself, I'm going to call myself a fashion designer. As for me, I do agree with you. I think that if anybody is going to take their business to a global scale, they're going to realize that, you know, this name I'm using doesn't really make sense if this isn't what I'm offering. I also think that at the end of the day, not everybody is trying to get to that level. Not everybody is trying to compete with my in what he's doing. And if you're the biggest tailor in Ikorodu or wherever, and you just want to tell people that, you know, if they do want a fairy tale princess dress made on the side, you can offer them that, then go ahead and call yourself Bola's Couturier or whatever it is that you're doing. My name is Dr. Idia, so I'm not really the kind of person to point fingers here. Okay. But <laughs> no matter what you call yourself, make sure that you tune into the show same time and same place next week. I'm so happy to have had you guys on today's episode. And thank you so much to Techno Mobile NG for this amazing, amazing, amazing show. We'll be here same time next week, so you better tune in. Mwah.